Well, the Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council says Saudi Arabia's ongoing bombardment of Yemen is meant to provide support to al-Qaeda militants. Ali Shamkhani says Yemen's and Saddallah fighters and allied army troops are the only forces that can defeat terrorism in the country. He noted that the Saudi war has spread hatred towards the kingdom among the Yemeni people. Now, the Iranian official also said that Takfiri terrorists in the region have repeatedly tried to take the fight to Iran's borders, but have failed. Shamkhani added that the spread of Takfiri terrorism in Syria, Iraq and Yemen is meant to weaken regional resistance against Israel. Well, crossing over to Cairo, joined by political activist and commentator Mr. Hazem Salam. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. Uh, your take on these uh, comments by the Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Court, that Security Council, that's basically saying that what is happening now in Yemen actually is meant to uh, give Al Qaeda the, basically the upper hand in Yemen. Well, the fact is, the Saudi regime has been trying everything to. Uh, to defeat the uh, Houthi uprising. And in one of the takes, it might and it would be by now supporting Al-Qaeda to fight against the Houthis. Uh, building on the sectarian divide and building on the Shia-Sunni divide, it might be uh, taking allegiances now with the Qaeda, though it has been fighting Al-Qaeda for decades, and now allowing Al-Qaeda to fight for the cause that serves the Saudi interests and the Western interests, and building on this divide in order to mobilize Al-Qaeda even to fight against the Houthis. And this would be more crippling Yemen. And in that case, the idea is to prolong the situation that as, as such and to prolong the war and to cripple more Yemen so it would not be sort of a, a, a problem for the Saudi Arabians. But this is contrary to the idea that if you're not part of the solution, do not be the problem. or now Saudi Arabia is trying to prolong the problem because it cannot find any other solution. This is a very grave uh, development and Yemenis should be siding together and finding their only way outside any other will, whether from the Gulf or from the U.S. Why do you think that there seems to be a silence, a deafening silence, uh, from most of the international community uh, concerning uh, the overall Saudi onslaught on Yemen? Well, the fact it started with the consent of the international community. It has been blessed by the international community. It has been supported totally by the U.S. and other allies. It has been even supported with, uh, with banned weapons like the cluster bombs. So the idea of silence, is they are silent because the scheme is not going on as planned to finish the, uh, the rebellion in Yemen and to make the Yemenis come to terms in the interest of Saudi Arabia and so. And uh, trying to speak to the international community should not be to the governments or to the United Nations or Security Council, but the people of conscience of the world who can really adopt a humanitarian case like that of Yemen. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Hazem Salam, political activist and commentator out of Cairo.